Well, it's been more than a year since Illinois lawmakers hedged a bet on video gaming, hoping that the extra revenue would actually help the state and local municipalities. One city in our area is finally cashing in, announcing just what they plan to do with all of the newfound revenue. ABC News Channel 20's Kimberly Howard shows us. These are just some of the 36 video gaming machines in Pena that have helped the city rake in nearly $20,000. It's a winning streak city officials and local business leaders hope continues. In a city of fewer than 6,000 people, the odds weren't always stacked. The first time we got about $96, and so we thought, well, hopefully we'll get more than that. It's been about a year since video gaming machines lit up in Pena, and like a touch of a button, the tables turned. We've got $19,860. It's money the city has been collecting all year, and finally, city officials are ready to deal it out. Most of the cash will go toward operating expenses for the city, as well as the local police and fire departments. But Pena City Council agreed to use $8,000 of that money on tree trimming and sidewalk repairs. The earnings will be divvied up equally across Pena's four wards. We've got a lot of trees that need taken care of and sidewalks and of course you know what it did to our streets. So it's really the winter took a good toll on the community. The winter also took a toll on local businesses, even the businesses you'd think would be bowled over in the cold. But I have seen a lot of new faces. Something that makes Painted Bull owner Bob Crawford happy that lawmakers rolled the dice. It's the first time the politicians finally did something good for the small businesses. Uh, you know, it's help. It's helping us pay our bills. Taxes keep on going up and, you know, we hate to keep raising prices and stuff. And this is really kind of compensated for, you know, a lot. Same story for the city of Pena, which is still trying to creep slowly out of the red. I hope it uh, keeps up the upward trend for us. You probably won't see any of that tree trimming or sidewalk patching until after May 1st. That's when the city passes its budget. Alderman will then decide which areas need the most work. In Pena, Kimberly Howard, ABC News Channel 20. Well, the city of Pena is hoping to bring in even more revenue in the years ahead. That's if more bars and restaurants agree to install the video gaming machines and if eventually the five license limit on video gaming is eased.